Hey guys, very quickly, we're going to learn the muscles of the upper limb. Oh yes. And this is our lesson four. We're going to sit down and look at all the muscles as far as the upper limb is concerned. I want you to sit down tight, right? And understand the whole of these things together with me. Now let's go. Under the muscles of the upper limb, the question is, how are we going to learn them? We're going to learn them part by part so that it should not cause confusion for you. And you can easily remember them because they will not play with it as far as your exams, they are concerned. What are the muscles of the upper limb? Number one is called the muscles of the back. Muscles of the back. In relation to the upper limb, what are the muscles of the back as they relate to the upper limb? We are going to learn them. After that, we are going to look at the muscles of the pectoral region. Oh yes, your muscles of the what? Pectoral region. That's the breast region, right? After that, we are going to look at the muscles around the shoulder. We are going to learn all of them. Thereafter, we're going to go together and look at muscles of the arm. After that, I'll take you around the muscles of the what? The forearm. These are the different parts we're going to look at very, very quickly. And you know that this is our lesson four, right? We are following me. Let's go. Now, give me the five parts we're going to learn. Muscles of the back in relation to the what? Upper limb, right? After that, we're going to learn the what? Muscles of the what? Pectoral region. After the muscles of the pectoral region, we look at the muscles around the shoulder, around the shoulder. And then look at muscles of the what arm or the brachium. The muscles of the what forearm or the what anti brachium. Sir, what about the muscles of the hand? We are going to learn them separately when we get to hand anatomy. Under hand anatomy, I will treat everything as relates to the muscles of the hand because they are going to cause confusion if you are learning all of them together at once. And there are plenty, so that should not confuse you. Hold on a bit. A complete series of classes in anatomy, all of them, physiology, all the physiology, biochemistry, all, they are available in the LearnLift app. So just head down to Play Store or App Store and type LearnLift, right? And then download the app and you have access to all your classes and the continuation of this lesson you are watching right now. For the now, peace out. Oh yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Who the Brit? Come on. Who the Brit? Who the Brit? Who the Brit? The first is the models of the back in relation to the upper limb. Yes. What are the muscles of the back as they relate to the upper limb? Number one muscle of the back is called the trapezius. Listen, you know, did I say trapezius? Did I say trapezium? All of them, they are in anatomy, so don't confuse anyone. The first muscle of the back is the word trapezius. What is it called? Trapezius. Number two is called the latissimus docile. Pronounce with me. Latissimus docile. Latissimus docile. But some people shall they like calling it the lats. Lats muscle for short. But Baba, for now, you are just learning. Don't go and do anything for short. Latissimus what? Docile. Latissimus docile. Latissimus docile. Latissimus docile. Number three is called the lepetus capule. Lepetus capule. Lepetus capule. Lepetus capule. Number four is called the rhomboid major. And then number five is called the rhomboid minor. These are the five muscles of the of the what? Of the back in relation to the upper limb. Did I say they are all the muscles in the back? No. They are the muscles of the back that have relation, right? Or function that they carry out with respect to the upper limb. Does it make sense? Latis uh, your trapezius, latissimus docile, levetus capule, the rhomboid major and the rhomboid minor so i would like easily remember them remember this acronym for me t l r square you see it right your t your l your r so your l and r the two of them square it then your t t l r square your trapezius your latissimus docile your levitus capulae your rhomboid major your rhomboid minor if they now ask you anyone which one is not part of it then you feel it i will find not you Try the feeling now, from the name, you can easily know what some of them do. For example, lepetor scapulae. Only you reason and lepetor scapulae. You should know that it has something to do with the scapula. It's levator in the scapula. Which have a levator? It elevates. Ay, 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 ay. Which muscle elevates the scapula? Levator scapulae. Che, you see, simple thing. So, sir, where is the trapezius? If I ask you and you fail it, Eh? After I show you now, you go hear one from my hand. Here is the trapezius. Now look at it. You can see this big muscle here, right? This big guy that you can see at the back, upper back. If they ask you to pick it up from here, only you can pick it from here, right? This whole muscle like this, as you they work out, show you the see. 
Another thing about the muscles of those back, all of them, they have relation with the spine. Though. All of them, they have something to do with the spine. As we move, when we're looking at region by region, right, I will teach you their origin, their action, their insertion, every single Latin, nerve supply, blood supply, and all of that. But for the now, know their name and know where they are. Trapezius, where do you see it? Upper back, trapezius, upper back region. Come on, trapezius, upper back region. KK, trapezius, upper back region. After the trapezius, if I ask you your dream, where is trapezius? Say you know one now ahead. That's your trapezius for you, upper back region. The next muscle is the one we call the latissimus dorsi. Where is it? This guy like this. Show you are seeing it now. This here like this now. Latissimus dorsi. Lower back latissimus dorsi. Show you are seeing it now. Latissimus dorsi. So as you see this muscle like this now, only you can come and pick it yourself, right? It even runs as if it's going into Nyash region. <laughs> latissimus dorsi. Show you see it now. Lower back latissimus dorsi. Upper back is what trapezius. If you get that very fast. Very quickly, when it comes to creating accounts, how do you create an account? Very easy. Let me give you the steps. First and foremost, you see create account and login. You only log in, right, when you already have an account. Since you don't have an account, click, click on create account. When you get there, put in your phone number. Put in your phone number. After putting in your phone number, you click on continue, right? Your first name, of course, you put in your first name there. If your first name is James, you put in James as your first name. Your last name, if your last name is Victor, you put in what? Victor as your last name. Then you come to email address, right? Put in your email address there very quickly. James112 at gmail.com at gmail.com Then your password, right? Oh yes. Those of you that like, if you want to use your name, your password can just be like six digits, right? Oh, yes. So, let me say James 12. James 12 as the password, right? Fill everything accurately and correctly. James 12. Don't jump any stage. If not, your account is not going to open for you. Select education. Under select education, of course, university. You click university. Leave secondary, primary. Leave the others. Click university or tertiary. Click it. Come to select level. Under select level, you go and select your level. If it's 100 level, 200 level, of course, all these are the university classes. Click on 200 level and click on create accounts. Once you click on create account, what will happen? Your class will load straight and then your profile will be set up and then it will take you towards to class. Easy and direct. So you see it. This is how you create your account. And then from here... You can see that you have your anatomy here, your upper limb, your lower limb, separately embryology, histology, systemic anatomy, those ones are for nursing, your CVS, cardiovascular system, your blood physiology, excitable tissues, systemic physiology, intro to biochemistry, your bowel molecules, BCM for nursing, nursing psychology. You have access to every single Latin in the app. Now, let me see what is in the app. Let's say, for example, upper limb. You click on the upper limb, right? You can see that you have your classes there already waiting for you. Overview of the upper limb, pectoral region, arm region, fork, arm, hand, all of them part by part. When I click on the overview of the upper limb, of course, I'll just match it straight to my class. Parts of the upper limb, one part of the upper limb, two bone of, bones of the upper limb, joints of the upper limb, muscles. You see, all your classes are there for you, right? Okay, let me say I want to start now and then I want to watch joints of the upper limb. All you just need to do is click on that particular class that you want to watch, joints of the upper limb, and what will happen? Your class will load, and your classes will start playing for you immediately. So you see, you may choose to say, okay, I want to rotate it, right? Oh, yes, rotate it. And you start following your classes immediately, easy and direct. You may choose to say, okay, you want to forward, you want to pause, you want to back and um, back forward, anyone you want to do. And you take it forward and what happened, you can see all of them very, very easy. And the sweet part is that there are questions for you at the end of every class. Are you with me? So that's for that. And you may choose to go back and then go to the notes section of the app. Oh yes, when you get to the notes section of the app, of course, the notes are there. Well organized and arranged for you. And you can zoom in and then start following back to back and you are following you may even choose to go and start answering questions. Questions are there for you and there are answers. You start um, following through every singular facet of it 
and you are learning on your own. And there is CPT in the app as well for you. A lot of other aspects that you can follow up. All of this in the LearnLift app. Same way you have for anatomy. That's how you have for physiology. That's how you have for biochemistry. Are you getting it now? For the now, bye-bye. Another one is called the Lepetos Capule. Lepetos Capule. And you can see that, um, you can see where it is, right? Uh, hey, running into the West Capula. I will show you all of these things as we move. You are going to learn all of them in details. So this muscle here, what do you call it? Lepeto word scapula. What does it do? It elevates the word the scapula. Another is your rhomboid major and your rhomboid minor. Now come, this guy here, this one that you can see here. What is this guy here? Rhomboid what? Major. It's like rhombus. This guy here, what is this guy here? Rhomboid what? Minor. So your rhomboid major, your rhomboid minor, give me the acronym. It is your T L R word square. Your trapezius, latissimus dorsi, levator scapulae, rhomboid major, and rhomboid word minor. These are the five muscles of the back in relation to the word upper limb. If you get that, and you understand it very well, bro. What to go? Measure all of them for me, and ensure you write, you let, you know the spelling. Write it down in your notes. Check the spelling with me and see whether you are correct. Post the class here, write them down. You are looking at me fine, not you. What's number one? Trapezius. Number two is what? Latissimus docile. Number three, Lepetus scapulae. Number four, rhomboid major. Number five, rhomboid what? Minor. What's the acronym? T L R square. Simple. If you get this very fast, oh, you want to go. Question time, let's go. Question time, let's go. Oh, yeah. Answer all this correctly. Look at the first question. You feel it, I'll not be happy. Question here says, which muscle is primarily responsible for elevating the scapula? Bro, what is the answer? You are correct. Thank you too much. Levator scapulae. It is not latissimus docile. Option B says trapezius. Never. Option C says rhomboid minor. Never. Option D says levator scapulae. What is the answer? Levator scapulae. It elevates the scapula. Look at the next question here. Question 8. The question all the way says, which muscle helps to extend, adopt, and medially rotate the arm. And medially rotate the arm. Of course, that rotation of the arm is around the shoulder region there. Option A say latissimus docile. Option B say trapezius. Option C say levator scapulae. Option D say rhomboid minor. What's the answer? Latissimus docile. Option A is the correct answer. Aye, you feel it? Call me. What does latissimus docile do? When we get to, when we're looking at them part by part, I will teach you everything about this muscle one after the other. We are not yet there. We, but just know this. Latissimus does that. What does it do? It helps to extend, adopt, and medially rotate the arm around the way the humerus. If you get that very quickly with me, answer this question all the way. Question 9. The question says, The latissimus does was uh, Where is it? Um, it's located in which part of the body? Where is it located? Latissimus does I. Now, first, first, tell me the answer. Latissimus does I. Where is it? Of course, at the back, right? Yes, it's muscle of the back. Option A say neck. Ah ah, show you the why me. It can never be neck. Option B say lower back. Uh huh. Back. Option C say chest. No now. Option D say upper arm. Where is it? Back. But which part of the back? Lower back. Latissimus does I. Upper back. Trapezius. Upper back. Trapezius. Lower back. Latissimus does I. Option B. You see it now. If you get this very quickly with me, look at this. They say name all these muscles correctly. Mm. As I give you, you name it. You fail them. I'm not happy with you. Oh yeah, let's go. Look at it. Ay, 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 ay. Which muscle do we have here? This muscle is at the lower back, right? Oh yes. Which muscle do you have at the lower back? Of course, latissimus dorsi. Et out. It's too much. You're correct, baby girl. Latissimus dorsi is the answer. Okay. Bros, you answer this question for me. Which muscle do you have? This guy that is here like this. That's upper back. Oh, what is it? Trapezius is the answer. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. A plus two minus two plus two minus two. You are doing very well, Louis. You say, you see, trapezius is the answer. One to go. Give me the name of this. These guys are two of them, right? Oh, yes. Oh, I am hearing the answer. Four people have gotten the answer. What is the answer? It is your what? Your rhomboid major and rhomboid minor. A is your rhomboid major. B is your what? Rhomboid what? Minor. Give me the name of this muscle. Get out. You are correct. What is it? Levator scapulae. What does it do? It elevates the scapula. If you get this very quickly and you understand it, bros, that's everything about this. And guess what? I'll see you in the next class. 
And that's our lesson five. In lesson five, I'm going to look at the muscles of the pectoral region. Muscles of the pectoral region. For the now, peace out, bye bye. Hope you've enjoyed this class. Guess what? To follow up for more classes, just download the Learn Lift app, whether on Play Store or App Store, and then follow up your classes. You must do extremely well. I'll see you in class. Bye bye.